now look at two particular types of paths, Euler and Hamilton paths. So we're going to start with the Konigsberg Prussia problem. So the idea is this is a town with lots of bridges, and we want to know if people are walking, is it possible to walk over every single bridge exactly one time? So this is the idea of an Euler path. So an Euler circuit in a graph is a simple circuit that contains every edge. And an Euler path is a simple path containing every edge. So in particular with the Konigsberg Prussia problem, we just want to know if there's an Euler path. Can we cross every bridge exactly once? We don't necessarily care if we end where we started. So for example, here's a graph that does actually have an Euler circuit. And here it is. If I start at this vertex, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So you can see I went down every edge and I started where I ended. In general, a connected multigraph with at least two vertices has an Euler circuit if and only if each of its vertices has an even degree. So we need to check the degrees of vertices, and as long as they're all even, we can find an Euler circuit. An Euler path exists if and only if the graph has exactly two vertices of odd degree. So as we're checking the degrees of vertices, if we have two odd degree vertices, it will, have a it will have a path but not a circuit. If it has no odd degree vertices, it will have a circuit. And if it has more than two odd degree vertices, it will have neither. So if I go back to my Prussia problem, the idea here is I'm going to represent each of these land masses with a vertex. And then each bridge is an edge. So I have one edge here, one edge here, here's an edge, another one, this one goes here, this one comes back over here, and then this one goes between these two masses. So this vertex here has degree three, this one's three, this one's three and this one's five. And you can see we have way too many odd degree vertices. So the answer is no, you cannot walk along each bridge only once. We can also have a Hamilton path in circuit. So a Hamilton path is a simple path that passes through every vertex exactly once. So we no longer need every edge, just every vertex. A simple circuit that passes through every vertex exactly once is called a Hamilton circuit. So once again, our same graph, this one also has a Hamilton circuit. So for instance, if I start here, I can go down one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you can see that every single vertex did get visited, and I ended where I started. So this would be a Hamilton circuit. A graph with a vertex of degree one cannot have a Hamilton circuit because every vertex is instant with two edges in the circuit. If the graph has degree two, both of the edges that are instant with the vertex must be part of a Hamilton circuit. And a Hamilton circuit cannot contain a smaller circuit within it. So this comes from the fact that we need to hit every vertex once and only once. There are a couple of things that can help us. If G is a simple graph with n vertices, n greater than or equal to three, such that the degree of every vertex is at least n over two, then G has a Hamilton circuit. So what this means is if I look at the number of vertices in the graph, 
and I divide that number by 2, and everything has a larger than or equal to degree than that number, it definitely has a Hamilton circuit. However, just because this condition fails does not mean I am lacking a Hamilton circuit. I also have Ohr's theorem if we have greater than three vertices, such that the degree of u plus the degree of v is greater than or equal to n for every pair of non-adjacent vertices u and v, then g has a Hamilton circuit. So once again, if I look at all pairs of non-adjacent vertices and add their degree, and it's more than or equal to the number of vertices I have total, it guarantees a Hamilton circuit. Once again, just because this condition is failing does not mean there is not a Hamilton circuit. It just means if this condition is satisfied, we definitely have one.